Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Mattressology, we're gonna talk about the 11 questions you should ask your salesperson when shopping for a new mattress. So let's go. So we recently shot a video on questions that you should ask yourself when shopping for a new mattress. You can find that video at the link, at the link above. But this is a little bit different. These are questions that you should ask your salesperson when shopping for a mattress or the store that you're gonna, you're gonna be shopping at. Mattress shopping can be confusing. It can be a little bit tough. It is best to come in with some sort of game plan. And it's good to know. These are things that I would recommend you know when shopping for a new mattress. That may be more important to others, but these are good things to, to know because you see a $5,000 mattress next to a $2,000 mattress, you don't know why, so it's good to know what, what's going on. And these questions are in no particular order. These are just questions that you should you should ask. So Gabe, what would you say would be one of the questions that they, yeah. should, they should ask? So the first one, or just one of the questions is, what materials are used in the mattress? You've got your mattresses narrowed down, and the reason why this is important is because, let's say you're wanting a natural mattress, mm -hmm. and the mattress that you say, hey, I actually kinda like this one. This is one of my top two or top three. Well, this one does not have any of the natural materials in it, it's good to know that so that's important on your list. You could eliminate that one. Yeah, I think it's very important to know what's inside the mattress. Yeah. And because also like if you're a hot sleeper and you see a bed that feels comfortable when you're laying down on it, but you find out that there's memory foam inside, you might want to stay away from it just because that may end up getting making you hot when you're sleeping at night. Even if it's some cool gel memory foam, it can still make have a tendency to make you sleep hot. So, and also the way it's constructed, knowing what's inside, but also knowing the way it's constructed could give you at least some kind of, a, of idea of the quality of the mattress. Mm -hmm. All right, Gabe, so what would be the second thing that they should ask? Yeah, second one is most mattresses are made with foam, so the density of the foam yes. that's used in the mattress. You know, again, you say, why is one $500? Why is another one $2,000? Whatever, right? Yep. The density of the foam, a lot of times, is what's gonna separate it. Yes, like so foam quality is determined by the density. So I could have two pieces of foam here they could feel identical, but one is a one pound foam, one's a 1 1.8 or two pound foam, and the two pound foam is gonna last many times longer than the one pound foam. I would say 1.5 pounds or less tends to be on the lower density. 1.8 pounds or more, I would say tends to be on the higher density. I wouldn't go anything less than 1.8 pounds of foam, just because that is where you're gonna get more of the quality, the durability, the longer life, that is probably the most important thing when it comes to just polyurethane foam mm -hmm. is the density of it. Now, latex is different. Latex is measured differently, but polyurethane, I would say know the density of the foam. Yeah. And if the salesperson doesn't know the density of foam, I don't know, do, do a little bit more research on it. You know, dig a little bit deeper. All right, Gabe, what would be the third thing that they should ask when when they're, at least their salesperson? Yeah, another one would be, um, what kind of support layer is being used? So. Is it gonna be like a springs? Is it gonna be foam? Is it pocketed coils? Is it latex? What's the support layer in that mattress? Yeah, the, so and the support layer, that's the bottom layer of the mattress. That's what's either gonna be foam. If you get a foam bed, latex would be the, uh, if you go to latex bed, and usually they'll put the padding on top of it. So the su support layer is the bottom part. Mm -hmm. you, you can even do springs, where actually most mattresses do springs. But the reason why it's important to know that is like how it's gonna support you, Airflow, breathability, yeah. the way it's gonna respond, all those are the, the support layer can affect. So it's a good thing to know what kind of support layer is underneath the bed. Like you could get a mattress that they say it's a latex mattress, yet it's like this and it has a foam support layer, which I've seen quite a bit. That I would not recommend doing. Yes, know the support layer. What kind of support is in the mattress? Yeah, that's a good one. Big, it's big on the latex one. They say it's a latex mattress, but they're using foam as a support layer. Yes, yeah, that is, yes. That's a good one. Very important to know. So the fourth question asked when shopping for a new mattress is what kind of fire retardant is used on the mattress? Mm -hmm. So the fire retardant, every mattress is supposed to pass the fire test since 2007. Every mattress needs to pass it. Good thing is it doesn't matter how you pass it. You just have to pass it. So Gabe, what, what, why do they need to know about fire retardants? Well, again, it goes back to what kind of chemical if you want, uh, if you're going natural, yep. right? The only way to pass it completely natural is with wool. So putting wool inside the, the, the mattress. Yep. Lately, there's been a lot of like fiberglass. We've yes. had customers that had fiberglass as their fire retardant and then they open up the cover and then it just got all over the place. So yeah. man, I kind of want to avoid that. Some mattresses that come from overseas, you know, people break out. And I think a lot of it comes from the fiberglass. 
Yeah, you know? fiberglass or a chemical that, that is Yeah, used. or a chemical that's being used. So yeah, that's why it's important to know what kind of fi uh, fire retardant's being used. Yep, all right, so the fifth question that I would recommend you ask, Gabe, what would be the fifth question? Yeah, um, what's the warranty? You know, if this product fails, you know, is it five years, 10 years, 20 years? Like, how am I gonna be taken care of Yes. if this product just fails? Yeah, some of these guys that have like 20 year warranties, or there's a guy that has a, a, a forever warranty, but look in the fine print of the warranty. Forever, yeah. You know, a lot of times there's so many stipulations on the warranty that the warranty is, doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, some of them like, it has to dip an inch and a half or two, an inch and a half is pretty significant. Most companies are an inch and a half. You know, but if there's like a tiny little stain the size of a dime, you know, avoid the warranty. Just know the warranty yeah. is very like, and who do you go to when there's a warranty issue? It's best to go to the person you, you bought it to, but who do you go to when it, yeah. when it comes to if you, have, if you have any warranty issues? So yeah, know the warranty or at least know some of the fine prints. If you see a 25 year warranty, usually it's like a prorated warranty, which means like the first 10 years are, mm -hmm. are fully covered, but the next 10 or 15 years are prorated. Ask about the warranty. Which is not a problem. Warranty. That's not a problem. It's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's just knowing is it is a full, like, yeah, 100% covered. Yeah, yeah, it's common. It is common. It's common, but it's, it's good to know that because mm -hmm. it's, it's good to know not going in blind and yeah. say, you know, you look at, year 15 you have an issue with the mattress you know the stipulations you know yeah for sure so the sixth thing that we should know or at least that you should ask when shopping for a new mattress mm -hmm. the other one is gonna be like what are your guarantees like if i don't like the mattress what's your guarantee on it yeah what happens you know, how, you you gonna, how are you gonna take care of me yeah yeah that, I mean, that's the biggest fear people have mm -hmm. when they get a new mattress is like okay if i don't like this what happens if i don't like it you know yeah so a lot of companies they'll give you like a trial period on it, either a 90 day, 100 day trial period, which is good. Mm -hmm. But what happens after that? You know, so make sure that you have at least some some kind of safety net if you don't like the mattress. Yeah. So that you're going to be taken care of. I mean, there's a co company over here that's like, once you take receipt of it, sorry. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's yours and you can't do anything about it. So just know exactly, you know, what, you know, what, how you're going to be taken care of if it's. Not quite right. Yeah, and if there's any restocking fees too, so, you know, mm -hmm. so there might be some restocking fees. So it's just one of those things that's good to know. So here's something that I wasn't sure if it was important to put on it or not, but I do get a lot of people to ask about it because mm -hmm. for some customers, it is very important is, so Gabe, what would be the seventh one? Yeah, another one is gonna be, um, where is the mattress made? Is it here in the US? Is it overseas? And you know, there's been a company that's said it was made in the US, but it was actually made overseas. But yes. it's good to know that. Yeah, just, I mean, a lot of it, it's, it's as easy as looking at the law label, you know? Yeah. But yeah, that's one of those things that's good to know. You know, good to know where it's made, if that's important, if that's important to you. Now, the eighth thing that you should ask when look, the eighth question. Another one is gonna be, um, can the mattress be used with an adjustable base? You might not be getting one, so this probably not, this might not pertain to you, but actually it's a good one to know because we get customers all the time. Hey, I have this mattress, now I need an adjustable base. Yeah. You know, I've had this mattress for five years, so just good to know, like, if you can use that mattress on an adjustable base. Yeah, some mattresses don't bend, or they don't bend very well. So if you may not be getting it right now, like Gabe said, but in the future, you may want to get it. It's mm -hmm. good to know, can, is an adjustable base compatible? All right, so the ninth question that you should ask your salesperson, good thing to know, Gabe, what is it? Uh, finance options. Yes. Right, get that a lot. Like, yeah. you know, how do you pay? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's good to like, you might see something that you like, but it's a little bit more that you want to spend. Mm -hmm. It's good to know the terms. Like, can you pay it off in 12 months, 44 months, 36 months? So mm -hmm. a lot of people are ignorant when they come into the store, like, oh, I didn't even realize that that was an option. So it's good to know that there is that option if um, you see something that you really do like, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah, and the finance options, you could either pay, you say, hey, oh, I want to pay a thousand bucks and then pay the rest on financing or something like that, or yeah. just 200% financing. You got options out there. Yes. Tenth question that you, you should ask when shopping for a new mattress. Gabe, what is it? Yeah, another one's gonna be, a, and this is a big one, is a uh, motion separation. How does this mattress do for motion separation? Yes. Especially for a couple, but even if you're buying it for yourself, you know, you may have a significant other later down the road. Yeah, right? yeah, this is for couples. If you're a very light sleeper, test it. If you're shopping by yourself, you know, have someone like test the motion separation. Ask mm -hmm. that person, how is it good with motion, you know? There are mattresses that perform better with motion separation than others. Mm -hmm. So definitely know that, you know? And a lot of it goes down to the support layer, 
and the materials that are being used mm -hmm. too. The last thing that I would say you should ask when shopping for a new mattress. Another big one is how the temperature regulation is. Yes. Is it gonna sleep me? Am I gonna sleep hot in it? Am I gonna be cool in it? Like what's, yeah, what's the temperature? regulation like and then a lot of this goes back to the where the materials are being what kind of materials are being used with a mattress made with more of the natural materials you know they're going to sleep cooler than one with more of the synthetics the memory foams mm -hmm. so that's why it's important to know the materials of the mattress because it does affect a lot of the temperature regulation too and ask the salesperson you know here's what they don't know a lot of them just because it has cool gel or breeze or Airflow, I mean, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sleep cooler mm -hmm. because a lot of it is marketing. A lot of it is smoke and mirrors, but knowing what materials are gonna answer the 11th question is the temperature regulation. So yeah, I know that that's a lot to go over. Um, I thank you guys for watching. If you guys are in your mattress shopping journey, we put together a, a mattress guide on um, tips on mattress shopping. Download our mattress shopping guide. Any questions, feel free, reach out to us at our, one of our stores even text us and our phone numbers too and we'll get back to you but um and if you want to again watch that other video yeah check out that other know. video and there's another video on the different types of what was it why your mattress is making you sick <laughs> that's the one i was thinking of yeah so all right thanks thanks, thanks for watching bye